another day, another dollar. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I was looking at you. I don't know. It's a party, so you have to hype me up with the pepper. <coughs> Yo, Leon, come on. Come on. Don't be stingy with the pepper. Pe, pe, pe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What it do, people? What it does? What's happening, Malawi? Um. Yo, it's another beautiful day with emphasis on beauty. Because it's beautiful. It's a Sunday and we're recording today. We're drinking juice. Some nice juice. I won't say the name because we want endorsement deals too. Um, first and foremost, it's always Podcast Malawi with Crypto University. If you're checking this out and you'd love to know what Crypto University is all about, click on that link in the description. Yeah. Welcome to Podcast Malawi. I'm the one and only Brandon Jones and today... Today is all about beauty. Look at me. Look at my fat man. Them. Yeah, I did this for the day. I did this for the for the episode. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. We'll go ahead and Bridget. But um, <laughs> I would in order to find a woman for Bridget. We have a guest. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Could you please do the intro for the guest? In Sinavanga, introduce the show. Yeah, you have to introduce the guest, man. Let's go. Now, uh, well, Bridget, right here. Mm-hmm. Today we're having our beautiful queen, mm. the queen, Ma- queen Malawi. <laughs> <laughs> we have to be specific, Queen Malawi. Queen Malawi. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're brought to Jessica Mponda, mm-hmm. the queen of the country, mm-hmm. and I'm here to introduce. <laughs> Welcome to Podcast Malawi, Jesse. Thank you, Bridget. Hey, Jess. Jess, Jess, Jess. It's Jessica, I'm not Jessica. Jessica. It has an R at the end. Oh. So it's Jessica. It's Jess, then car. Yes. Okay. So I've been calling you Jessica the, the, my my entire life up until I got your phone number. It's Jessica. Oh. I was like, oh, car. Okay. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Are you new to the whole Podcast Malawi thing? Have you ever heard of us? I know I haven't. First mm. time, really. Really? Yeah. Is it because you are not so into podcasts? They are very brutal, too honest. Uh, no? <laughs> <laughs> you're too busy being a queen. <laughs> I really don't know why is that, but uh, first time, really. Mm-hmm. First time, yeah. Ah, perfect. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the show. Um, uh, uh, we were supposed to be with my boy, but eh. <laughs> story for another day. Story for another day. Ben Sam is not here, but okay. Let's go. Jess. Um, I'm sure most of us Malawians mm-hmm. know you as Miss Malawi. Yeah. The reigning queen. Yeah. Eddie. Mm-hmm. But I'm quite sure too, Goody, there's a Jessica that you would want people to know. Not just the Miss Malawi. Because mm-hmm. it's sort of boxed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you have people like Churchy, Muhudu, and Tani. So you'd also want us as fans to know. So did you say entirely? But then, if you this is what you okay. Aside from being Miss Malawi, this is Jessica. And I just got Miss Malawi. This is what I So I'm giving you this opportunity to introduce yourself in that way. Well, uh, my name is Jessica Mponda. Mm-hmm. Middle name Natalia. Ooh. I just turned 24 last week, is it? Yeah, mm. last week. I just turned 24. I am, um, I am the third born in a family of three. Mm-hmm. A little complicated, but yeah. It is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. And I am, I am a Christian. Being a beautiful Sunday, I was in church today, mm-hmm. beautiful preaching. Yes, I am God's favorite baby before anything else. Mm-hmm. I am an aunt to four nieces. Wow. And yeah, I, I do love my nieces so much. Mm-hmm. I love children. Uh, I am a graduate yeah. from um, the mighty Polytechnic. As Ooh, I just graduated. <laughs> I, just, I just graduated in April. Ah, so basically, that's Jessica Mponda. That's the Jessica that you would pe- want people to know. Yes. Aside from being the most beautiful lady in the land. <laughs> 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 okay. Um. So you know, uh, it's uh very beautiful to have a uh, smart cultured also a christian that's a beauty queen uh it's something that a lot of people look up to you know 
Because yeah. um, you know how complicated this industry is, you know. So yeah. for somebody to be as smart and to be so a beauty queen, in a way. What I want to know is how did this whole modeling thing, let's go back to your childhood. Let's mm. go back before we knew, before you wanting to go into that, Jessica, Standard Dewan, I mean, that's where you know from. But Standard Dewan, what, what, what was your life like? What were your experiences growing up in Malawi as a Malawian child? Mm-hmm. As a Malawian child, I wasn't really much of a dreamer. Mm-hmm. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Um, I really didn't have somewhere I wanted to be when I grew up. Mm. I was just moving with life, Basi. Yeah, yeah, We've right. completed standard one. We're moving to standard two. We're moving on to the next class. Yeah. That was just my life. I really didn't have a dream. Mm-hmm. There was a time that um, when I had just met my stepmom, mm-hmm. she asked me, what would you like to be when you grow up? Mm. And I was literally stuck. I didn't know what to say because yeah. I didn't I didn't have a dream. I didn't have anywhere I wanted to be. Mm-hmm. But um, after she asked me, I said, I I don't know, but I would really love to work in the bank. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah. But it's not really what I wanted anyway. Mm. But again, growing up, I decided I wanted to be an airborne soldier. Oh, you wanted yeah. to be a soldier. Yeah. Oh, I, my God. I wanted to be an airborne soldier. It didn't go well with my family. They thought, oh, she's just a child. She's going to change as she grows up. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, growing up, I still wanted to be an airborne soldier. Mm. It really didn't go well with my family <laughs> because it's all, okay. Now she's all grown, mm-hmm. but she still wants to be an airborne soldier. Mm. So yeah, um, we had a few disagreements. Then we came to we came to a conclusion. They said you need to get your degree. After you get your degree, then you, you can, can do decide whatever if you, you do. You want to be an airborne soldier? Yeah. Then you can go and be an airborne soldier. Yeah. So yeah. Do you still you still want to be an airborne? Sometimes soldier? it does hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it does hit me, but I'm like, uh, I I don't know. Mm. Yeah, maybe I'm like 45, 45, 55. <laughs> yeah, 55, no, and 45, 45 I yes. want to be an airborne. Ah, soldier. okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so, madam, in uh, experience of growing up a Malawi, in it. Mm-hmm. So you grew up in Lilongwe or? I've moved quite a lot, but mm-hmm. I think I've spent uh, most of my time in Lilongwe. Ah, okay. Yeah. So it was Lilongwe. Where else? Mangoji, mm. Zomba, and Lilongwe. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's just three districts anyway. Ah, okay, yeah. perfect. Now, um, school-wise, mm-hmm. you know, um, going this way because there's a conversation that we want to have with Chagos okay. It will make sense. School-wise, uh, if you Triana, I had my was we were tiny. So, do you like, do you have any experiences? I'm a bullies. I've been bullied it's, quite a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to be so dumb. <laughs> so, so dumb. <laughs> I've been bullied quite a lot, and in denial of father. Yeah. For most people that have known me in mm. my childhood and didn't see me grow up mm-hmm. and just realized, Goody, I'm the Miss Malawi. Mm-hmm. Like, how did that happen? Yeah, she yeah, used to yeah, be yeah. so quiet. Transition your dad with her. Not all fats are going to be So I used to get bullied quite a lot. Ish. And then I would complain at home. brother You need to go see her at break time. Mm, so mm, mm, mm. that's how it used to be. But yeah. Nori, your protection is the number. Yeah. She needs protection, people. <laughs> 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 okay. So, um, cause I mean, you, you usually touch Ujen subject. Yeah, I'm a bully. One bit. That's why mm. I was, you know, I wanted to know. So in that you know, lifetime really, you're being bullied, you're dumb, you're quiet. <laughs> yeah. Was there anything in particular that maybe that's very traumatic and it hits you as an insecurity? But nobody you find that point. I feel some type of way. And maybe that's where so you draw your strength from. Kabena, mm-hmm. there's nothing like that. Uh-huh. There's no, never been a major Nope. Nothing. I'm a wooden in bully like no man, the best has to day So it was, <laughs> <laughs> it was natural. Yeah. Yeah. I go to school. They want to 
redo my hair and mm. then be pesa and it was natural hair every day mm. yeah mm. so i would go home maribona likuti i want to land out to what happens every day i'm a color gundi pesa every time ni mamva ku wow basi so it was that what's why you know I, i've heard kuti girls are the like the worst when it comes to bullying yeah a girl sent a ubanga go sent eh there's been a major transition in your life mm-hmm. you quiet whatever is going on and now we skip to the part where you were interested in the this whole modeling career how it how did it start as an adolescent i was too tall I was <laughs> like compare me with my age mates mm. I was too tall and I was so slim skinny mm. so of course I knew there's a place where that would be considered as something good mm-hmm. because otherwise what I'd get every day is you're too tall or you're too skinny mm. but then I knew there was a place where that would be welcomed yeah. and yeah. that's the modeling industry mm. but besides that I've always loved the spotlight so yeah that's when I realized I give her more light know. please give her more light <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough light <laughs> <laughs> that's enough light uh so when was this would you know interest in in your I know I think the the Zoe Nereza Kala model so when when did you start testing the waters Okay the dream came when I was 12. Ooh, got it, got it. Yeah, when I was 12. Mm. Testing the waters. Uh I've been working I've been working with um a number of photographers. Yeah. But uh mainly could you my first runway show was yeah. Beautiful Africa 2020 that was in December. Mm. Yeah. Mm. How old were you like the for 2020 I was 21. 21. That was the first main thing to do yeah. modeling wise mm-hmm. ah okay so muna ka ma video vixen tena mas kamena video vixen i've mm. been a video vixen because it was my cousin's video mm. wana chandi yeah and i think that's the only one that's the only one because my model wan bila men ma zira ine ronde eh a ka ma vixen because i remember this one thing that i did when i was modeling now my one my vixen in boy that <laughs> so additional <laughs> victory the little guys and then the work was trash most of them sanka i don't know a lot of people do not know about modeling like that mm-hmm. among going and modeling is just looking pretty and whatever whatever so now isn't somebody in bilis raising kavura so yeah, yeah. Uh, but since ndiku malawi kuno go i wanted to know if there was anything like that could he career ya goipa ya yambika ndira tikavine ko nyumba ya kwamba tikavine ko nyumba ya wiki se I think I've always set standards for myself. Yeah. So there are things that I I always say good this, this isn't like for me. Mm. Yeah. I know we need the money. Komano mm. there are some gigs that you look at and you go like I think I'm worth so much more. Mm-hmm. And tabu no bali ma ma videos ena okuti you can go shoot but yeah. what's the concept? Mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. i always ask what am i supposed to be doing in the video, in the video. am i supposed to uh, get all touchy with you mm-hmm. because i wouldn't want to do that yeah. because my parents are going to end up watching the video anyway yeah, i wouldn't yeah, yeah. like that true, 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 true. so i always ask like um like is there alcohol involved mm. like are we supposed to to be holding alcohol or that sort of thing yeah. what am i supposed to be doing in the video, in the video yeah. so yeah firstly i think um that's what i've i've always done but um my brother has always been into music so he wouldn't let me anyway <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't let me cuz most of these guys are his friends and he would say i sister okay yeah, yeah. 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 No, ah, okay mm-hmm. makes sense so we are in the modeling um career now so far biggest achievement that in the yeah, miss malawi so yeah that, that's where i was going in this career i am modeling mm-hmm. aside from being the uh, the reigning queen what else is there that's outstanding what do you want to i know thinking in any milestone yeah in here in this modeling uh, modeling career my first beauty contest was an international one mm-hmm. and i ended up in the top six so that was 
that was the biggest, mm. biggest achievement for me mm-hmm. because um, I didn't even believe in myself to begin with. Yeah. But um, the people that chose me here at the auditions to go and represent my country mm. outside yeah. believed in me. Yeah, true. So, yeah, they even had doubts because they're like, it's her first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but they trusted me with it. It was big and I ended up in the top six. So, yeah. Did, did, I've always been proud of that. Didn't it feel some type of that? I'm a singy, see? You know? No, it did not because, okay. You know how the top six would in Makala in order? Mm. Amango, it's the top six. <laughs> no, that, that's how it goes, though. It does it, though? Yeah, that's I how remember, it goes. I remember a girl, I won't mention you, she knows herself. And I can also top, is it top five? Yeah, Miss Mala, I'm going to like number five. <laughs> it's the number five. <laughs> She was in the top five. She was not in any particular order. Ah, okay. So, then it was made my manga go stand down with you. Don't set a cause us a little too. Yeah, I didn't put it out school. Ah, okay. Um, so yeah, uh, in the modeling industry, I'm saying this because I've been there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, challenges. I want to talk about challenges mm-hmm. in the modeling industry. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're not gonna know one of the way. Yeah, so a little bit of a backstory. I've modeled before. Mm-hmm. Right here in the long way. Okay. Uh, I was a fan modeling it in Kango and Was it? Was my model, was my zero. Mm-hmm. Get the chicks and go by they get to look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> they, look, uh, food. Quite, they look pretty, you know, they they are into trends, you know. They know more I I sort of live more of a fast life. Mm-hmm. When I'm like What do you mean by live fast life? No, no, not fast in that way. Fast goody. I I'm, I think ahead, you know. Okay. So I saw that in fashion, you know. Because mm-hmm. by like this and husband showcase. And then maybe two, three years later, people s- start jumping on the trend. Zina, mm-hmm. Sizovala, and the art. So yeah. I just love being ahead like that. So I was like, you know what? Let me tap into this glory. I started modeling. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember who was uh, Kalibanga trainer, Nali Terry, Terrence. Okay. Yeah. And Pusa Bang Bang, I was one of the best. You know? But. <laughs> my challenges. <laughs> my challenges. I mean, Naona as a yeah. male model, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. where that firstly, none of the industry it's very young, you very know, young. yeah, it's very young, but the work is too much, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. And for one of the they would do a gig just for lunch, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. they'll do a gig just to sleep in a hotel, yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. Now, Zina Zote Gambabe. I want you <laughs> <laughs> to tell me. Okay. Mm-hmm. What are the challenges, main challenges? And I'm going to go through them. What are the main challenges in the modeling industry in Malawi? And how best can we, you know, when I resolve them? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think um, the first problem is people don't really understand what modeling is. Mm. And what it's all about. Yeah. Like I said, I ended up having this dream just because I was tall and skinny. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. So everybody else that is slim and tall thinks I can be a model. Mm. But okay, what are you doing about it? Yeah. What does it take to be a model? None of us have ventured into the industry and they're facing a lot of problems. And by the end of the day, they give up like you did. No, I didn't but, give up. I'll tell you that. Okay. <laughs> give up. Okay, fine. Mm. So we have issues like uh, lack of support. Mm-hmm. So since it's not really supported, there is no money. Mm. There is no money. So and how long will Kagami is as yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Like in this country, okay. Modeling is a big thing out there. Yeah. Komano in this country, the only um, biggest show I've ever seen is Ya yeah, All Shades of Beautiful. Mm-hmm. And I think All Shades of Beautiful is because Zandria thought 
sort of a different approach. Mm. Like she had to to be inclusive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that way she she knew she would get all the support because yeah. Yeah. I got more people with albinism, I got more people with disabilities. She knew she was going to get the support. Yeah. So that was the biggest I've ever seen. Yeah. My fashion shows are much bigger. I've I've been to several. Komano hmm. It's really a challenge. I'm being a makazo. You're just volunteering. Mm. I volunteered once, comma. It was because I wanted to do it because yeah. I find joy in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've yeah. I volunteered once, and I think that was my second fashion. I was paid for the first one. Mm, the I wasn't paid for the second mm. one, but they told me oh, yeah, there's yeah. no money. There's no money. Like, yeah, I just want to volunteer. Yeah. because I love it. Because mm. I enjoy it. Mm. no when people look at us, they think the girls are selling their bodies, which is a whole different topic. True. Because we are selling the clothes. Yeah? Come on to, they look at it in a whole different perspective. Mm, mm, mm. People, uh, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, yeah. Okay, let's say, I want a, a video of Vixen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our pastor would be, okay, there is this girl, you can have her, Amojenga. They do the video and they want something else after the video. What? You see, like they want to take advantage of the girls because yeah. they think they're that cheap. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm, mm. So it's it's really, really a challenge. Mm. How many um, girls, without mentioning their names, do you know have been taken advantage of? Well, um, well, they wouldn't come and disclose that to me. But, but in the, in the we are in the industry, mm. but it's wind not in the industry. Oh, oh yeah, wind yeah. in the industry. Yeah. Uh, we've heard of one because somebody addressed the issue on um, the Malawi Models Union group. Mm. They uh, they tackled it a bit that um, goes, you really need to know your standards because there's no way you go open your legs for somebody just because you want them to buy you alcohol. Yet you went there for a modeling gig. Mm. So, yeah, I won't mention names, but yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I, I, I know two. You know two. Mm-hmm. So, for instance, do you think, um, is it the conduct of uh, the women or is the conduct of the men? Like, sometimes it's, it's It could be read, both. Right? Yeah. It mm-hmm. could be both because... Okay, what what gives somebody the audacity to come and approach me and ask for sex mm. is is the picture I'm given. Yeah. So if if I'm right here and I see goody this person zmini akufuna, it's not what I want. Mm. I can just say it or I can leave. Mm. I I have the choice. Yeah. But then. If you still choose to sit there and you still choose to do it and you still um decide to get the money or alcohol afterwards in return, that means you decided yeah. you want it that the, way. Yeah, in Aliago. But when it comes to issues of um, sexual pleasure, mm-hmm. um, here we usually call it... Consumation. Consumation. <laughs> 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 right? In the industry of yours, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, it's like people are already aware or they are waiting for it. Like they, there's that kind of expectation that if you are rolling out with models, sex is part of the deal. Yeah. How That's the perception. Is, how deep is sex within the modeling industry? It's never part of the deal. Never. In fact, um, and Vegudi, you went for a modeling gig and you ended up having sex with a client. It's unacceptable. That means you can't be part of the industry anymore because it's just not allowed. Yo. If that's the case, yeah. And I remember going to Salima for uh, Marijani camp. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Uh, people were sleeping with each other. I mean, I was sleeping. With, I, was, I was like, for real. I was, I was there. And I was like, who am I going to sleep with? I have nobody. To sleep with. I have nobody to sleep with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah. But the whole point is to encourage professionalism because if you are my client, then yeah. we're not supposed to have anything intimate. Okay. So like, if you are intimate with your fellow model, that's fine. I, I think because it's a personal choice and because you're like colleagues, it's not even fine. It's not professional. It's not. Unless you choose, dating is allowed, oh. of course. So unless you, you choose to do it in the right way, because how are you doing it? Mm. If you're doing it in the wrong way and the picture that is sent out there is bad, it, it makes all of us look bad. Define the good way, the, the right way. Okay, the right way is 
Okay, people do have sex all of the time, every day. People do have even sex. Even now. Yeah, even now. <laughs> but it's just that thing. And people the other do person have is sex. finishing. Komano, yeah. like, okay, what's the point of you doing it and the whole world gets to know about it? Ah, okay. So that's the idea. If yeah. you're shocking, keep it there. Don't kiss and tell. Yeah. I want, I want to go back to this because I know parents um, deprive their the kids, specifically girls, to indulge into or to engage into modeling. Industry. Because of the same... Yeah. Because of this conversation. Mm-hmm. And it's, you are there now, right? It's, it's a good conversation to have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How much sex is happening in the industry? How much? Oh, I wouldn't know. It happens. <laughs> it happens <laughs> behind closed doors. But then, I would say there is mm-hmm. not much going on, but how sure can I be? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, I really wouldn't know. Okay. People that entice... Mm-hmm. I think the conversation started from artists. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to now people that have power, mm-hmm. because most of the times, a case of Donald Trump. Donald Trump was involved into, would get girls from the these arrangements, right? People that are modeling and stuff. The people w- with money, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Um, that come and they are just there to scout. So, Zuma Kanga, you are, you, are, you are doing what happens in Swaziland. You parade. Yeah, you know, crime. So yeah. it's it's like that. That's the mindset that, like, in my case, I have, like, okay, after that event, people that are putting the bag here mm. have already picked the girls. Yeah. To what extent is that true? It is true. Jifuwa Jokuji, people that go um, into modeling gigs, I'm a kazura for and drama. Yeah. So, I was a and a 20 pin. Mm. And then they go there, they meet somebody else offering them more. Mm. Even it's not really much. Yeah, no, but it's just more than they need more. Mm. Yeah. So it does happen. And um, I know big people that that do um, such things, like scouting for girls. Mm. Yeah, like I said, it's a personal choice. It's, it's about your values and your standards. Mm. Okay. Personal choice aside. To what extent is it optional for the girl? Because, you know, see, see sometimes mm-hmm. the existence of power mm-hmm. deprives someone the, the, the position of yeah, saying no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right? True, because of the offer. True. I'll yeah. give you an example. Uh, you go for a gig in Mangoshi. Mm-hmm. The gig that is sponsored by some guy. Mm-hmm. And the security there doesn't look good for you. Mm-hmm. And this, this person is providing a vehicle, right? To safeguard you, mm-hmm. Right? There is little that you can do at that, at that particular moment because you want safety, because the place is quite open. Maybe the gig wasn't paying well, but you wanted to pay for something and you needed the money. To what extent do the industry people that organize and that have power that are getting the girls, that are scouting the girls, give it as an option for women to say no? Um, we do have a president mm. in the industry. Mm. And some people do have managers. Of course, I, I work solo. Komano, people do have managers for the very same reason. Because these clients will go through the managers. Yeah. So that means the managers are aware of where you're going. Mm. Are you providing food? So that's how it goes. Okay, you're taking Muntwatu to Mangoji. Mugamu Samalabanji. Ndrama Muti Basila to Kabina Muti Basa. 50 yeah. percent so that's how it goes kuna kwa makazo kuti akusa malandi management mm. to avoid such cases akaka kuti the girls that get stranded amakazo kuti are you really into the industry though because you should know about these things you just don't go into a lion's den like that mm. yeah mm. like these are strangers chabuno ndan tochoka inde chabuno they have the power inde komano what makes you trust them more tifajo kuti People are supposed to know Gudi Ugubita Gudi, Ndibo Uga in Dabanji. So just, just so you are safe. Okay. Remember last one on this one. Mm-hmm. Um, private palette. Hmm. Um, I know people can invite people, specifically models, to do a private palette. Hmm. Um, so for instance, if your rate is, let's say, maybe 200,000 for a 30 minutes, they'll offer you 600 uh, for 30 minutes. But the private palette happens in the, like, like, like in a room or in a hotel room or something like that. Yeah. How is it happening in Malawi? 
Does it, it ever happen? Yeah, it's a private parade. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't heard I, of I, it. I've heard people who have offered. I've that. been to oh, one. Oh wow! You've been to one, right? Yeah, I've it's been to one. I can, parade. I can't name drop. Yeah. Big people were there. It was mm. a private it's a parade. Private Three people of power mm-hmm. were in the room. Mm-hmm. We had about six girls. Mm. Yeah. yeah, they were giving tremendous amounts of money. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you have to know wow. about these things. I, I, unfortunately, I don't. Like you said, it's private. How am I supposed to know about it? The models know about it. I haven't heard about it before. That was a model. Like the times in Kajiri, I was a model. Oh. Yeah. I haven't heard about it. I was actually a model ice boy. <laughs> I ice boyed these girls to come in. Like for like, uh, I was the one approaching the managers. Mm. Yeah. What you, there's this thing. There's this kick. How much do you charge? Most of them were charging to my, to my 50K. You were a pimp. I wasn't a pimp. I was a model, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you were the one getting the girls. Yeah, I could not because I was in the end. I was connected. You know? I wasn't even talking straight like I No, no, no. I was talking to your management. Ah, there's this thing going on. How much is is our uh, rate? Ah, I got 50 bin. Ah, 50 bin. Okay, but if a client because it's a private a private thing, uh best you can do is just drop the person. If not, transport will be arranged. So he's the one to talk about it because... No, no, no. private parades. Because, you see, when you are beautiful and when you know how to catwalk, you know... Like, there's this thing about men. Men have all the women around, but they'll go for a woman that shows a bit of strength. Mm. Shows a bit of, uh, no, exposure Mm. kind of level. So I'm asking you because probably you have been, Mm. uh, like, asked for a private parade. How I much was the offer? I haven't. I'm, I'm even sad I haven't been offered that. Like, what? <laughs> okay, aside from what, what private, am I living in? Apart from uh, the private parade, uh-huh. have you ever been offered something very, you know, sketchy? I wouldn't do this. I have, do I look intimidating, maybe? Because I haven't. Yeah. I haven't really. It's, okay, maybe people fear me because of whatever reasons or maybe because of my standards or maybe they know me. But I haven't. Or maybe not yet. Uh, yeah, I won. No, I even mean, yes. <laughs> I won. Because these offers, but maybe let's just break it down. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been offered a Dubai trip? A Dubai trip was part of not, my prize. No, not, no, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. From, from who? Ah, see, good I say, yes. Let's go to Dubai. But why? You know what? I have this... You know, I have money. I have money. Let's go to Dubai. Oh my gosh, I haven't. Uh, People get off at such. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> not? It's part of the deal. Modeling deal, Kavena, just because it's a pretty girl and they just want no, to take the girl uh, out. It's models. It's, it's going to be, the reason is going to be explained later. Mm, but mm, mm. those offers. Like uh, they go together or just spoiling well, you can the find lady. them there by, by the yard hey. or whatever. No, I haven't. For real? Maybe not. Yes, maybe they're going to offer me after they listen to this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Are you willing to travel to Dubai or Seychelles or let's say uh, uh, which other countries go? Ah, uh, Maldives. Yeah? Maldives, yes, with the queen. <laughs> <laughs> Contact us uh, via info at podcast. <laughs> 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 Ah, crazy. Uh, but nah, I don't think so. Another thing, okay, so one of the reasons why I left the industry, modeling industry, is uh, mm-hmm. which was a very, it was bad, one beat away in the head, because people thought I was gay, which is not the bad yeah. part. Yeah. Which <laughs> wasn't the bad part. Mm-hmm. But they think, they, th- they thought. Are you pe- gay? Are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> happy, I mean, gay is happy. So <laughs> yeah, man. People thought I was gay, mm-hmm. and people also thought I was a cheap gay whore. Uh-huh. You get know what I'm saying? How did that make you feel? That that side, you're more than not cheap. I don't even know how I'm being. Being gay, I say people would say, "Woody, you look like a wild, 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 wild. I don't, I don't care what people see me as. But thinking that I'm a whore, to when look out, na banga goza, who is what he was in high now again? Now invest so that when they are whore aga, kwa sonka gay. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now. I'm a modeling for this thing of Because mm, yeah. in as far as my model is my hoodie, 
Kwa kwa mamode wakoso kule mahule. Ndipo alipo ambiri. Alipo? Mahule nde. Kwa mamode <laughs> mulipo. Alipo. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, um, alipo. how does this whole modeling career of yours mm-hmm. affect no, your personal life? Be it uh, love relationships, family, friends. How does it affect? Oh, it doesn't. I'm an open book. So before I actually started modeling, I asked my parents, yeah. do you think I can do this? Because this is what I want. My mom was excited because my mom is team loving things. Mm-hmm. So she was like, yeah, you can, you can go <laughs> ahead. But then my dad was like, hmm, yes. I need to go pray about it. Wow. Yeah. For everybody that knows Mr. Mponda. <laughs> and even till now, I tell my daughter, I'm going to go to uh, of course, Zantu, people do say a lot of things. He's a pastor? You? No, he's not. He's an evangelist. No. Yeah. He's the and guy that... He's more dedicated. He's the one that you were saying, Kuti? Yes. Where I got it? Ah. He, he, ministers, he ministers where? Everywhere he's invited to minister. Mm. You can you can call him for a preaching here. But anyway... <laughs> <laughs> do, do we need that? <laughs> I it, think so. Is it Mwiza? <laughs> <laughs> is he giving you the crips? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. so there's no problem whatsoever. No problem at all. Because, Ma- mm. yeah, my, my family is very, very supportive. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad because they do understand me. People don't expect them to understand me, but yeah, they yeah. do. Mm. Because aside being an evangelist, he's a dad. He's yeah, a yeah, family yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, that's how he's decided to raise me. Mm. And that's fine by him. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very much supported. Relationship. Well, my my boyfriend does attend some some shows. He was there at the Miss Malawi as well, so it doesn't affect anything really. Let me drop. Over to you, man. <laughs> Do I really have to? Yeah. <laughs> Tell it all, Gaia. Oh, yeah, Tell it, but it's okay. It's okay. It's yeah, now. Please. It's now. In the moment. Could you just tell us? Wow, na. Wow, na. Ah, nigga is safe. <laughs> what does he do? Is yeah, he an industry he's, guy? He's he works um for Deloitte. Wow. Deloitte. Oh, okay. He does them. He does the. He's an auditor. Auditor. Yes. Mm. All right. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's just isolate. Who are the only people you like? No, no, no. Right now. Come on, who is it? I started the, telling the, 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 the stuff. The crazy, crazy thing about it is that, I'll tell you, so it's crazy. I started seeing you on TikTok. Yeah? Mm. I saw you on TikTok. <laughs> Listen to this story. I saw you on TikTok, and then this one time, we were talking about Nimbo and Tufet. You know, with my boys. Ah, do you come? I say, but you know, I dream. Is it out? You didn't for the last time. Is it out? Chan, 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 chan. I go, ah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, like, okay, cool. I saw this other cute chick with a very nice smile. She did the yan, lips, lip sync, chan, chan, chan. Mm-hmm. I'll show you because I liked the yan, the video. Don't mm-hmm. like the video. It was a bit of me. It was a bit of Like, ah, fuck. Okay, cool. This one time I was looking for chan, guys. I liked the video. I bumped into that channel, that video. So like, yo, bro, remember This is the video that I was talking about. Mm-hmm. This is the cute chick I was telling, I was telling you about, but nah, she's taken, so yeah, whatever. <laughs> the boy, the boyfriend is in the videos down there. Okay, yeah. so yeah. remind me to delete it. <laughs> <laughs> because I am uh, on Deloitte. <laughs> what? Malawi. <laughs> And then we'll find him. <laughs> we're going to find Then we're going to insert. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, you have to be recognized. Like, imagine mm. the, the, the Messi Malawi, right? Yeah. Someone who's 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 recognized, beautiful, and so on, spoken and stuff. Yeah. But Malawi, mm-hmm. are you dating the chick? Yeah. And she's saying... She says, this is not it. She's saying, this is not it. If you bridge it, cannot even say what the man <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Okay, we, we I'm, 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 I'm gonna find. Come on, But that guy's lucky. Tell me. Umu Tinduku blockan. Tiktok kwanga zimana tinduku blockan. Okay, so no, no, like there's never been a 
point where mukubanga uh, yeah, I said Dave you know what but I'm soon to send her we my dollar and go text them what yeah move they want gigs have you seen auditors oh yeah yeah true okay have you true uh, does he audit yeah. your phone uh and nah, he goes through my phone because i have nothing to hide so do i but auditing my phone let's not put it that way he just goes through my phone <laughs> <laughs> it is professional your phone <laughs> 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 wow but oh yeah. god nothing mm. nothing he, he, he hasn't had insecurities and whatever mm. uh not because i miss malawi but the modeling industry in general but right? yeah for somebody that you love sometimes you do get insecure yeah mm. yeah that's, that's a good one yeah. Yeah. how old are you again Come on, no, no, but I don't need that. Mama, mama, twenty three. Two, three years. Okay, it's okay. Hey, do. Does that wait? Ah, you come on. I saw on Facebook they said you were turning twenty three. And I like we said. Me goes yeah. I'm a fun now and for a bit of joining us. Ah, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Ah, okay, cool. We do. I have a friend at Deloitte. Who, who get the info? Yeah, yeah. I have okay. a friend at Deloitte. Mm. Then I, right, right after this, I can just call in and say, <laughs> excitement here bro, it's nothing about, it's not, a, it's nothing about, um, it's nothing about just about the guy. But it's because of your boldness. Yeah, man. Like, there are very few women, yeah. right, mm. who can do that, and that's mm. what we need to encourage in this day and age. Because we track in the Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. People that are blazers at multiple levels, mm-hmm. they blazers are trippy. <laughs> <laughs> what am I in it, Tim? So yeah. if someone can talk about that, mm-hmm. that is encouraging, and we, we encourage uh, openness here. Yeah. So that's so why we are happy about it. We're very so excited. We are all open here. We are mm-hmm. all open. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not open. No, 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 no. no. We're talking about opening. What, what kind of? Am, am I not open? Bridget is not. No, because. You're <laughs> 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 That's the only time they're honest. I'm saying go now. I say, when were you in a relationship? I'm the hand of police. Which Wow. But anyway, that's I mean love is a beautiful thing. Sure. I, I enjoy your videos. I would, yeah, you know. I would want a lot of people a that fan. I know. I'm a, yeah, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Oh, thank you. I've been a fan before knowing good into Miss Malawi. Ah. Even time to myself, I'm going to say, Miss Malawi, I'm going to say, okay. she's Miss Malawi. Correction, he's always a fan of a, a beautiful lady. Oh. Yeah, he's a... Uh, he has a, <laughs> a special on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> That's the base. I'm, the air volume you're talking about, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to <laughs> but I wonder, I wonder she's never been invited to a private one because she will. You know somebody that can invite me? Yeah, because yeah. you see, a private parade uh, is, is a very important arrangement. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, he, he, he organizes. Okay, okay what, what happens there though? Parade? Okay, let me, let me just understand before okay. Okay. I no, get invited. Okay. So like, buddy, there's a, a basic package where you just mm-hmm. walk around and papa do your thing. So it's okay then. It's weary, weary, weary. <laughs> weary. Who said it's not okay? Who said it's not okay? <laughs> okay, jump <jamu, jamu. laughs> It's okay, man. <laughs> okay, jump <jamu, laughs> Go ahead. Nde, but you know my different packages. You've been to a mas- uh, massage parlor before. Mm-mm. There's okay. So they do massage. I go bang a boy, and there's a happy ending. Mm-hmm. Yeah, happy ending. Yeah, happy ending. Oh na. So it's a different arrangement. Jodi, ingo kaya massage. Happy ending. <laughs> Yeah, but but the the amounts. So, for instance, the other parade, the private one. For instance, if your parading is two hundred k, for instance, mm. they will give you five hundred for that private one. Yeah. For the more special, um, uh, like specialized arrangement, it goes up to one point five yeah. million. Yeah. Some mm. even can throw a ten million. All in the main, I'm going to say private parade. Mugabanga to buy the the one you know is exclusive. Mm. But it's exclusive. Yeah. Yeah, it's exclusive. I'm <laughs> so the passport is for my bed, my bed. Yeah, my wife, 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 my
The auditor is in danger. <laughs> 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 oh, I, I think I better want which one want be my friend. I got not. Well, when you saw that video, so that is not going to podcast. Because if if the approval came from the 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 the, the, the evangelist, come on. Ah yes. I know who is he. You know these things, right? When you're dating someone, like you, you don't have that full control. Sometimes yeah. people think like they they own the person. Mm-mm, you don't. The person, person belongs to the parents. Yeah. And you, you have done all the processes. Yeah. That's yeah. approval. In the book. Until the papers are signed. No, 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 we are stupid by nature. I mean, watch watch the other episodes. This is just nothing. Uh, <laughs> nothing. Yes, competition. Okay. If you if, if you're trying to, you, you remember that that nar- uh, analogy says uh, I don't know if I could say it right, but it says if you are marrying a beautiful lady, you should brace for heart attacks, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's yeah. it's normal, right? Yeah. That's why when you're about to get married, you know when people want to marry, right? Yeah. They they look at the beauty labels like okay. Can I manage to defend this? Mm. Can I manage to defend this? Oh, and the guys man know that. I need to go school and guy and cut that. Is my baby is a boy. But I'm going to marry her. Because it's about how much you can defend. But other people can defend her. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, other people can defend her because a woman. It also de- it also depends on the woman. Do mm. I want to be defended? Yeah. Yes, don't say her. Uh, she don't wanna be saved. I understand. I get. I I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. 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 So uh, let's move on. Let's move on. Um, Miss Malawi. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about Miss Malawi. Not you. Now the Miss Malawi. First of all. Okay. Yeah, we got advert. Hmm. She came in. I was on and that we know I'm busy. Hmm. That that is on. Uh, chan 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 chan. Apply. Yep. Yeah. You're scrolling, you see it. What was the first thought? Nothing. I was in school and I I was told never to participate in Miss Malawi by, by my dad. Mm. Because so be- goes, I say. <laughs> because <laughs> I, I don't know what I, what has been happening previously. Come on, he just said, Could you, you you can do anything else, just not Miss Malawi. Yeah. So I was like, ah nah. And I was coming from an international pageant anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I said, ah, I will let this one pass. Yeah. But then uh, people kept telling me to participate. Mm. I didn't want to. So it really took me time until like the very, very last day I would take her. Mm. Yeah, that's when I did it. Mm. I was in school anyway, so I was like, ah, but see, I'll just let it go. Yeah. But then Sikulo Sega around 3 p.m. Mm. That's when I, I did that. I I the last minute. I'm going to go to the last minute. I'm going to go to go to the You weren't pushed. What? You weren't pushed. Nobody came for you. Uh, I pushed? represent Miss Malawi. No, not pushed because I had a choice. No, no, I mean pushed. Like pushed. other people were like, oh. okay, fine. Um, this one. Deserves it. And you were in Blanta, so I have so many theories about Blanta. I'm Blanta. Bit down, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I, I wasn't. No. So, like, who influenced the final decision? You know, the yeah, three goal where were up, but I didn't even get Eta, some designer. She goes by Vivieta Designs. Mm. Yeah, we've been friends for quite a long time. Mm. So, yeah, she's she's the one that was saying, could you please do it? I'm going to handle your, your wardrobe and whatnot. I really want you to do it. Mm. So, I really didn't want to do it. But mm. I said, okay, let's go for it. I knew I was going to make it at the auditions. Oh, okay. At the auditions. Oh, at the auditions. Yeah, mm. I knew because... Ah, the auditions it's, it's easy the auditions eh? yeah. wow. so yeah I did it is it that there was uh, a performance of high fan at the school and, you know, <laughs> and they're like uh, everyone who was like okay okay what was happening what was happening what was happening during my time yeah, yeah. yeah. So a happens. couple of times I think uh, 
Okay, ne high fine nda nda muziwa. Also nda muziwa. Even I don't even have his number. Come on. I have it. I know we're let's, on the same group let's anyway. Dial <laughs> let's dial it. Let's dial it. In your phone. Sure we can. Sure we can. <laughs> sure we can. We're on the same group. Yeah, yeah Miss Malawi, but I don't have his number because ndi mabanga communicate ndi in our. Ah, okay. Yeah. You never dealt with him directly. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, it makes mm-hmm. sense. So, unabanga submit on the last day. Yeah. Why were you not in your your lost music video? Was it supposed to be there? Well, it seems an invitation for people to have access to the flutes. A bunch of flutes. Went to every model at the time. What happened? Like you were approached? No. I mm. wasn't even approached. For real? I I wasn't even approached. Was was it about dancing that we were looking for people who would be free to dance? No, I said you know I should dance and cover you know just say. Sendo kuza kuti zina kabanje nangu zindikira kuti video is out now so i really don't know what if you were invited wana pita if management approves no 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 personal on a personal no, no, no. level i think she, she has management so personal issues wouldn't matter at that point no it does matter sometimes as because some i also have a say ah, right. yeah, yeah. what was say. what was your say going to be i say i'm okay, uh, okay. Brr, brr, depends brr. on yes. what am i going to be doing in the video i already mentioned who's got your jam grips I don't like I don't like fruits but anyway <laughs> <laughs> or maybe the dancing hey, have you seen me dance I'm a terrible dancer <laughs> I don't know how to dance oh, hey. thing, you guys were supposed to dance right why are you were doing mm. the thing mm. I say. No, we didn't dance though you didn't no we didn't Makrive na kana zazuka ahiuda kufina hoja ba. Kama vina kusha. Salima. Ah, na ngola makrive. Mhm. Kuna mtu asimkaza. Okay, sasa. Ah, isi mafina. Kama Just kungo sanga kuti so you know the dancer. I wish I was but, <laughs> but I get it. You, you come, I'm you come, horrible. You come, I'm horrible. You, you come from a, uh, an evangelist religion. It uh, doesn't matter. Look at me, I miss Malawi now. No, 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 but uh, the dancing that was expected in your loss. Good a bit of loss. Ah, what are you by you say? Think I do as I says it. Anyway, Uh, thank you for the short break. <laughs> Now, <laughs> we are back. Uh so tell me the journey. Miss Malawi, mm-hmm. uh I go on a short list mm-hmm. for the auditions. That's what happened, right? You applied, shortlisted, you do all the auditions. Yeah. What you saw the panel, you did your thing. What was going through your head at that point? I was only showing off. I knew I was going to make it. <laughs> I what know. what gave you that confidence is is it the the, the previous gig that you were talking about kapenam but you have it naturally in you kapenam no no i knew most of the girls that were going there yeah come so i knew because they were going to choose top 30 mhm they but who said him pakana Aha. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And who said it? Ah. What's a collab? Ah. I knew I was going to be. You, there. you knew. Mm-hmm. So you just went there just to show, to show up. What I said, guys. Ah, see, just, that just way showing off. Just walk and get there and get asked the question, respond or mm-hmm. I go. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to this question. At what point did you realize that you're beautiful? Um Mm. Did I say I realized I was beautiful? You, you, <laughs> you don't know that you're beautiful? Um I've been told but um there are times I look into the mirror and I go like ah god you lied you uh, think I'm, I'm beautiful and wonderfully me but I don't like what I'm seeing right now. Uh, yeah there are times I've been like that there are times I've cried I'm like I don't like how I look. <laughs> but um I mean yeah if he said it then it should be true right because mm. I'm a believer. So if you say them beautifully and wonderfully made then it is true. Come on there are times that I get insecure and feel like that. Yeah but the first point where you were like in the end in the end bomb by name. Is it in Bangae? Can you put us? Yeah, can you put us sometimes I go like hey. The, like what are the insecurities? What do you have with in Bangae? I just don't <laughs> know. There are times I've been trying to gain weight. Um, I just don't know. 
I just don't know. There, there are times I've hated my hair. Hmm. But it's, it's just this, this little things. little things. things. And then yeah. you get back to your origin. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Bridget has a question. Mm-hmm. All right. What is it that causes insecurities? Is it maybe comments from people? Nah, they have person? nothing on me. Trust me. <laughs> You don't think that inside good tinner they have nothing on me. They have nothing on me. They have nothing on me. You know um Okay, I'll let you ask you questions. <laughs> don't lie. Okay. Don't lie. Say it. Comments okay. have something on you. Okay, like what? That's why you were entered live in Dubai. Should I explain? Uh, yes. yes, please. I don't manage my own page to begin with. Mm-hmm. So, it's not me. It's Antoine Banga manage. Pena son manina zogudi. Why are you guys even responding to these things? Mm. You're not supposed to mm. because I don't manage my own page. And B, everything I do, I need permission from my, I just can't go live anyhow. Mm. So, I don't have number me cozy, but they asked me cozy, could you need to write this because they needed their attention. Mm. So it was a stunt. And because he had to say good just to get people's attention. Hmm. So he did whatever he wrote there. So he did just to get people on my life. I didn't want to go live, but I had to because hey, I had to. So I went live and for everybody that has watched my live, and then it was all chills. Yeah, I, I was there. I was, we were expecting a rant. Yeah. What we no. saw was like, at least we forgave you for instance, in my case. Ah! I think <laughs> at least enough for our own Jesse and Matsi. Ah! Okay, so live manager was uh, scripted. Yeah. By management. Yeah. You have a question? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Go okay. ahead. Uh, do you ever feel like you get used sometimes because of. The- Okay. Do you ever feel like you get used sometimes, like by people around or other organization or whatnot, just because you're beautiful, you're Miss Balawi and everything, and you do not feel like people appreciate you as in even the brains that you can bring to the table or whatnot. People they just look at you as an object mm-hmm. you know, because you're beautiful, yeah. you can walk and everything. Do you do you have any moments like those where you feel like? Ah, I'm, I'm not being treated as a human being, but just like an object. Not necessarily being treated like an object because I do have a voice. So if I don't want to, I won't do it. Even, okay, I won't, I won't talk about it yesterday. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah. But anyway, there are times oh, goody, I do say, goody, I don't want this. And people keep pushing me. And my management says, goody, why should you keep pushing her? Even Tiano Sibangosoka, just let her be. Because I do have a voice. If I don't want it, then I won't have it. So about um, negative comments or whatsoever, nobody gets used to that. I mean, we're all human. Nobody gets used to it. But how do you handle that? How how does it affect you? Mm. As for me, like I say, it, it, it has nothing on me. Because my very, very first time getting cyberbullied was... Um, Okay, my brother has a studio. And we go there, but just for fun. Yeah. So I did one verse. I had my own beat, in fact. Mm. I went there. And I recorded <laughs> one verse and chorus. I went there and I recorded one verse and I see My brother finished it off. I went there and that was the very, very first time I got time of bullying. Ah, I don't think you're Luso, there is no. I don't think you're But anyway, that was my very, very first time. So my brother was like, oh, I, for- I, f- I forgot to tell you. Don't ever read the comments. Mm. So yeah, since then, I do read comments here and there because I know there are some other people that have my back always. Mm. And that's what keeps me going. Because I know good in the midst of people that don't like me, there are people that do love me. Mm. So, yeah. That's what matters. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, cool. We are still with Miss Malawi. Yeah. Miss Malawi, we are in the background. We are in the background. We are more special. We are in the background. We are in the background. We are in the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Come on, this one. Okay, so it had a, like a lot of backlash. Mm. 
Yeah. More especially so about Jenpa uh, social media because mm-hmm. I mean that's where people are mm-hmm. bored enough to say things. And the backlash when I as a person that's within mm-hmm. you know because even when I'm talking about government is why people are broadcasting why how is it my pangan affect personal yeah. Producer and that they don't know what grand shit you know that's that's what happens. So as Miss Mala no some men in my town and this that people are questioning you know yeah. what the hell how did it feel how did that affect you as a um, uh, contestant then it got funny because we actually had a session go boot camp yeah. so we had to go through my comments on say mm. yeah it was even supposed to be presented to miss malayo go jakomano kaya sound in atani sembeka yeah we had to go through all the comments ale sa moyeng ngama comments hake like we were 12 of us ale sa moyeng and then we would laugh about it <laughs> but it just it just got funny this is so good this comments never faced you guys you still mm-hmm. worked kamena na ijayodi ngala wina na collective matter comment yes yeah it ndia we was pain na ko matter so just <laughs> just laugh it off yeah yeah okay um you said you were confident you are going to get through you're going to auditions yeah yes, yes yes now you get in wangumana amba kusefa now no yes hano cream you know our guys you know competition is stiff i mean i mean the biggest competition why you in dani kuti no man i never ndi loser para go beza ka jackson no gone sa day men we are to get ana and hambi mbili gomena uso ana sefidwa to my surprise no no kuma lizira ko kuma lizira ko ndikwendi top 12 mm. i always say could everybody had the potential kwambili okay i i just didn't know where to place myself mm-hmm. because everybody else had something that's why they ended up there anyway yeah when i look at montuina it was because of the character could you correct that india bo kwambili ata kuina when i look at another person i would see the work could mm. they have the best work yeah I look at another person I see um the achievements I look at another person um people's favorite so I just didn't know where to place myself honestly una figure point over that our and the basil than western harry was it go bore who are what could it and that western harry because because there were um things that I had learned there mm. were connections I had made mm. So I always say good uh, beauty contest it's not all it's not always about who gets the crown mm-hmm. because there are a lot of things that happens along the way yeah yeah things to learn from things that build you up things that make you stronger so yeah I've never really felt like um, it was a waste of time nah. yeah no 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 so really, it wasn't because I mean you are the you are the queen now <laughs> yes if I had lost yeah you know yeah you are going to lose that in this nothing Mm-mm. so um the second second princess to my Roberta Roberta that's the second one the, the other lady that we went Shazipe. to Shazipe Shazipe yes okay um there was an interview that you did I don't know where but I saw it by Capital FM a Capital FM yes uh you spoke about a lady one of the ladies that I know we about Natasha 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 Tembo yes the uh, she had her weaknesses you capitalized she was good mm-hmm. very very good she mm-hmm. had the potential she would make a very very good queen she is beautiful but she had her weaknesses mm-hmm. everybody does okay so do i mm. i do <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> all right she has weaknesses she say <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um Uh when you know the announced goody you're the winner mm-hmm. a lot of people went against the decision they mm-hmm. were like my baby didn't turn a lot of people they were expecting real better did that like affect you in any way could maybe did you feel like maybe i didn't really deserve this like maybe robeta really is the one who deserved it for a bit um for a bit yes but then um mother president said goody i deserved it so i mean Yeah. 
Kosa bridge za mati ya antu. Iweyo, iweyo wala na anga wewe ndio robeda. Leo roho ni kani mwenye wandu za sola I'm going to be a snitch. Hana kumudwa na tuku maana yetu muzi. Ndugu ndugu maana yetu muzi. Zina kwa bwana si. I know if there was a way you would nikanacha kubela maybe I would have done. Okay, maybe I mean I'm on a jet chokudi maybe you had the the connections in there and to like my judges and stuff. Which one? Ah, I mean, mean, you, know, you have a connection with my judges that's why they were like oh, mm. I you don't no, I, I didn't even know them the only judge that we come all of us had a one on one chat with oh. her Kubut camp mm. she was there just to observe um get to chat with us that was Rachel I think it was Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I think it was Rachel. <laughs> she, <stays, laughs> she doesn't stay here. She was oh, Miss Malawi okay. 2005, I think. Oh, okay. hey, so she was there to boot camp ah, just to observe just and what not. Mm-hmm. So that was the only one. I mean, alien sana cheza na bike bike. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, assuming we are we are changing things, right? Mm-hmm. And we go back to it. Yeah. How can you actually leak Miss Malawi to like Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Tu madai kama ni kana countdown kwa ndoa kutoka kwa Bezwali Babo. I don't I don't think it can be right. Okay, previously it was easy when it was owned by Nakova Bima Jinandani because there were a lot of male, males involved. So the new goodie if if I make somebody win I'm I'm going to have a later they would make agreements. Komano um this time they made sure Kudi that's why I'm saying Kudi even me and hyphen yeah city and kulana because they made sure Kudi no on the front like line it was all ladies my judges mm. own sana like yeah. as um even the organizers they were all female hyphen is the only one i mean he ali wa mona kuma so hyphen is the mango and kulana na for you to ali kuma mama kwana de hyphen i don't think i do okay Let's go back to when Miss Malawi was being owned by those guys, right? Mm-hmm. When the franchise was being owned by all those guys. The process of fuligi. You can end up once. Beautiful girl. Mm-hmm. Ready to win. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be Miss Malawi next mm-hmm. that year for instance, mm-hmm. 2012. Take, uh, 2012. Mm-hmm. What would be the process? What did you hear? How could someone reach Apart from just sleeping with some guy because how many people can you sleep with? Do you I think that was like the only way though. That's that was the only way. Yeah. Apart from just sleeping with some guy because how many people can you sleep with? Do you I think that was the only way though. That was one away. Yeah. Bas. There was no sleeping with the judge. Plan. There are no meetings, pre meetings. Come on. Hey, guys. Wait. I, I, mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe someone uh, who could cross the deal for you. I don't know. I don't think. Come on, say. You know, just say that someone been judge. Put papa no bajama kama jajanga. Baja? Papa no bajama. Four. Four. Mm-hmm. Four people, right? Mm-hmm. Are you going to sleep with all of them Gabena Bari men guy Simon Ken do you know Okay Doni he usually calls that name there's a dog Muno I go as it too So there's a way to leak this mm-hmm. thing mm-hmm. There's a way there's a There has to be a way there has to I'm not yeah. saying Hyphen is our guy come mm-hmm. on I don't think Nah yeah, Hyphen oh no no bobo man and whatever mm-hmm. everything's good with him mm-hmm. right uh, but there was there's a way to leak and it used to be like that in my because um I, like mess how you you guys are asked questions magod 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 what if you are ah, you so we you ndira tatuze ni abale it doesn't matter <laughs> you seen people buying petrezza guje ni kubucha it doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> like anything is possible so there's a way so i just want us to go through that let's be tirani reverse engineering this whole process you want to win what meetings do you need to have Mm-hmm. Who are you going to time. who are you supposed are to meet people that you need to pay mm. and if someone is trying to strategically sleep with someone who is that strategic person they should sleep with sleep with because you can sleep with whole team so that they are, they are provide with the pleasure that they make you win yeah do you have someone in mind who wants to contest because well we, well we just want to have a formula <laughs> <laughs> we could be selling the formula or in those or in those are bridges right 
I, I really can't come up with one, honestly. For real? Uh-uh. But because, okay, I'm mm. Bagubanga, Magrid Damajokira Gudali. So after the auditions, Aga Sankantu, I'm a Kaza Gudi, they're already grading the whole process. I'm a Kagubanga grading. Kumakam activities, Osana Siana, Mini Mabanga, they're always grading Bagana the final day. So, like, my grades are our. I'm a pastor, so my judge, judge. Could you okay? Whatever happens on the stage, yeah. Zingonje zera to mm. give you the hundred percent command. Mm. So, men one in my own team. Is there a chance for the daddy? Guys, oh my, is it larger? You know, top twelve. Top twelve. Eh, to be a yes of a stage, chances are you you could lose. Yeah, maybe. Trust me. Let's do. They were all great. <laughs> <laughs> Squid what games. process? Games. Yeah. Squid games. Yeah. Dara wicha. Anka onega bebude avomina process isa. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to spoil. Come on, munua ge ya. Yes. Mm. That's how the game works. Yes. Mm. So there's a formula, mm-hmm. uh, Jessica. Right. A formula. Jessica. Jessica. Yes. Jessica. Yes. 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 Start with I want to be Miss Malawi this year, yeah. right? Yeah. Then you have to meet the right people, a team, mm. one who has the money to bribe, someone who is so corrupt who could find the numbers for people, mm. someone who can entice men mm. because men are usually easy when it comes to enticed, mm. and then someone who can just watch from afar. Too. So you do have a process. There's a process. People it's gotta win. Be. There's got to be a process. So yeah, people saying, used to win. You know, this is a, Alpha Arts is a whole different organization running it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a different mm-hmm. organization. Yeah, so, yeah, so they're doing it. Alpha. Yeah, they're doing it differently. Yeah, but I want to go back to how it, it used to be. Back then? Yeah. I never used to follow Miss Malawi. Come on, Miss Asunanka, you were inside. Zwena Mabanga, Antu. Sana guze ni? Zwena Mabanga, Dani. Antu haka lekale, oh? Kaya. Because there were, there were rumors at that particular time, Kuti. Even... They would say, okay, Panoba, do we need to talk Like, there was an arrangement. Don't mm. you know about that? No, I didn't even follow Miss Malawi previously. Because, okay, I had, you know I had it that, fixed. Who is in this end? But you, there's a cartel. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are investors in this thing. There is a drug lord. There are investors? Are you sure? <laughs> The investors? Yeah. There are no investors. No, 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 not for the audience. No, no, no. Investing in their own. Oh, in their pleasure. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The industry is just too big for her. Yeah, maybe. She's but a small fish. For us, it's like, okay, we always toss her to say, she's our innocent lady. She doesn't know anything. She doesn't know. Like there was a day people talking about head, right? What's head? What head? What's head? Who's head? So, from what we're seeing here, we are assuming you're so innocent, which is good. But what you should know is there's a whole cartel thing. Mm. These yeah. things are so dead. Yeah, and you're being Aren't you're they? watched, my guy. Here, you're, you're being watched. I still I still bet to differ though. Mm-hmm. I I don't think so. You believe you you heard? Maybe it used to happen. Yeah, we're not saying about now. No, right? no, 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 no. Oh, you're saying mm-hmm. then? Yeah, because mm-hmm. now, now, then, now then, it would be like we are di- we are we are we're invalidating your your, your mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. We, we don't. Mm-hmm. There was there was an episode that was done with with hyphen right, mm-hmm. and when they were preparing for this whole Miss Malawi thing, right, mm-hmm. the process is legit. The process is legit, mm-hmm. but it has been a tendency for a long time. In Malawi, mm-hmm. where the person who was supposed to win was known from the start, mm. and everything was done in her favor. There were people that were orchestrating that process oh, yeah, and made it that. possible. Mm. Yeah. So. But it happens everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Even there. I don't understand my point. Are you happy? <laughs> At least Malawi, we have innocent Miss Malawi. Aha! Innocent Miss Malawi. Uh, so innocent Miss Malawi. <laughs> Didn't you have any rumors? Somebody is maybe trying to sleep with somebody just to get Whoa. the favors. I'm, I'm just saying. Well, that my okay, okay. There was nobody to sleep with, even if we wanted. No, what if the women wanted to sleep with other women? I mean, it's, it's possible now. Everything is uh, everything <laughs> is possible. Okay, they're all strays. Okay. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> but have you ever heard those rumors when you were at the camp? That somebody's trying to do Somebody's something. trying no, to sleep nothing. with someone just for the favors. There was nobody to sleep with to begin with. 
there was literally nobody to sleep with. Like me when I had nobody to sleep with. Was just, uh, just, uh, people had everybody to sleep with. <laughs> 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 so, okay, cool. Now we move on to the Dubai trip. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember Kwambia was showing an episode of Manager. Uh, I just found it funny because you know I don't know I don't I don't after showing I don't know I don't Brandon I don't know my first thought is I don't know I don't know I don't know I first thought my dad has told me that before he never owned it <laughs> <laughs> so I <might> evangelist <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, the you know, Mtazori Magai, what what company was uh, what, what promised Blueberry. 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 Mm-hmm. After Blueberry I'm going to the winner is going to win a trip to to buy. My first thought was you guys get ta next week. Mhm. Mm-hmm. after camp it's a lot of work, you have to go rest. And then come back refreshed. Then in Kerala, a guy and I was also in there. Yeah, you want to pass? Of course, we. I name Balaga on the car, but I'm going to just end that company. And then, ah, yeah, Like, how did it come to you? Would he? Were we in Nairobi? You know, you see, that was in December. December. Yeah. The whole time, and then you only went a few weeks ago. They taught me to choose when I would like to travel. Mm-hmm. So I did choose. I had chosen February, mm-hmm. but then there were other miscommunications that were going on. Mm-hmm. That um, I wasn't really in the picture anymore. Mm-hmm. Like some mm-hmm. Andibanga communicate bueno bueno, so I didn't know when I was going to travel. Mm-hmm. So when Brian Itai from Times wanted an interview with me, I told him what I knew. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I told him I was waiting on. Blueberry uh, uh, to communicate, mm. but Blueberry was waiting on Ami Malawi because Ami Malawi said, "Goody, um, they weren't ready for me to travel then." So yeah, because of other other reasons that you cannot say. Yeah, I cannot say. Okay. So they weren't ready for me to travel then, mm-hmm. so they were going to pick a later date. Mm. Yeah. So it wasn't on Blueberry. It, it was never on Blueberry. Ah, uh, because this is an Andrews. Oh, we're gonna call us to San Camilo next week to fire. Right after we're in the bajwa, it's gonna take. I saw that Blueberry because <laughs> I was so sorry about that. I was sorry about that shit. Like for real, for real. So, um, that we know that one. But bo, you went to Dubai. How many? How many days did you say? I went on the second, came back on the ninth. Oh, the seven days got booked up. Minus travel time. Okay, cool. How was it? How was Dubai? It was nice. I mean, it's Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Mm. Honestly, I really enjoyed my stay. It was fun. What activities did you? Um, we we first went to the Burj Khalifa Tower. Ooh. Yeah, we we went there and we had the desert safari. Yeah. And we had a uh, dinner at the desert camp. Mm. We had um, the cruise. Yeah. Ooh, and cruise. yeah, we had a city tour as well. Mm. And we went to their offices. Mm. Yeah. The brewery offices. Mm. Oh, they have offices in Dubai. Yeah. Jo- mm-hmm. Perfect. Mm-hmm. So Dubai trip now, you cannot choose anywhere else but Dubai. You can say, you know what? You know what? Maybe about Sangano. Change your mundi bath. <laughs> no, I couldn't because, okay, they do have offices there. Mm. So me going there meant goody, they're using their own driver to ah, drive us around because okay. they had it all planned. Mm, they had their mm, own mm. photographer to follow me around mm. and everything else. So it had to be done there because they do have offices there. Mm. Yeah. I mean, they do have branches um, in other countries as well, mm. but I think that's the main one. Ah, okay. They know. <laughs> Ndan Twago India. Eh. <laughs> 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 of Dubai. Yeah. Uh-huh. How safe were you? Could he yeah. to do those stories? Could he? When this conversation was being done a while ago about uh-huh. Dubai. Oh, could he bless our Tagos? I could he do it over Dubai? No, no, no. no, no. Stuff that happens in Dubai. Um, uh-huh. Straightforward. So you want to give examples? Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a point where people would go to Dubai and uh, have people shit in their mouth. Sorry, oh, yeah. Language. But yeah, they would go there uh, being uh, sexually assaulted, 
Mm-hmm. My arrangement has sex and I go to a club, you know? Yeah. More like... Well, another one, which is crazy, right? Mm. It was of um, a, a, a person. Uh, so, gets the lady. Uh, beautiful. Mm. Takes the lady to sleep with him. Mm-hmm. And then sleep with his 13-year-old guy. Like, kids. Fucking hell. 10 years. Jeez. Why are you Hilarious. Watching? What's that? That's crazy. Mm. So, I'm asking... Uh-huh. How safe are you? Like, in, when were you, you were going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apart from putting on Manchester City jerseys. <laughs> <laughs> so you go there. Well, like, were you severe? Did they, you know, guarantee your safety there? But for me, yes, I, I was super safe. 3 a.m. I go to the market. I come back. Wapansi. That's how safe it was. Mm. So, like this side of the hotel, I mean, in Makala, it wasn't. It's a blueberry. It was just you there. Of it was just a normal hotel. Yeah. Nothing sketchy. Nothing shady. No. At no point were you like, "Hey, I, I mean, let's go back to Malawi. This is this doesn't look like it." No. For real. No. Are you trying to protect people? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Have you been there yourself? No, man. I'm, no, I'm Malawi. You should. Malawi boy. <laughs> very, you very should. Malawi. You yeah. Should. So uh, you've talked about the other pageant that you did. Where? Tanzania. Tanzania. Miss East Africa. Nah. So this is your second. This was your second time traveling. I mean, you've been traveling, but that's Second home. time. Mm. Yeah. But first time in Dubai. Perfect. All right. So you know, what did you learn? Uh, as Miss Malawi, as a Malawian, as a girl child, mm-hmm. as a role model, tribute to Dubai. What did you learn? As a Malawian, I learned good people there do work hard. I mean, here we do work so hard. Komano, it doesn't really pay. It doesn't really pay back. It doesn't really pay back. It doesn't really pay back. If I'm being honest. But there, people do work so hard. Like, most of the shops are open 24 hours. Yeah. They don't really sleep. Mm. My shop, I mean, I'm at Sega. I'm at Limba Zoguti. Opens at 8, closes at 4 a.m. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. Opens mm. at 8 a.m., closes at 4 a.m. Mm, mm, mm. So, they only have, like, a few hours yeah, to rest. Yeah. Kumano, most of the times, they're always working. Always. Shift, mm. Yeah, always. Like I said, would go to the market at 3 a.m. And, yeah, everything. Just to do whatever. Just yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Mm. Kumano, as a girl child, I, I also learned good uh, my kind yeah. or how do I put it? Okay, like we had so many sex workers that were black. Ooh. Okay, the, the, the sex workers there were black people. Mm. Yeah, it was just black people. Mm. Masana Mazulu. Now so they're always working twenty four. <laughs> yeah, Masana they, they Mazulu. They're always working twenty-four hours and they're like extremely cheap. Mm. They would like mention a price right there and say, I'm, I'm going to offer you both the front and the back. And I'm like, What? The hell? <laughs> yeah, because that's what I'm when you I'm a, I'm a, I'm a wonder, So I've heard. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So it's it's really sad, Goody. Yeah. We're vulnerable like that. Come modern day slavery, so you Yeah. Nanga is sad. Me too. Uh, as as a role model. As a role model, um, well, I've I've learned, Goody. When we go there, it's it's still important to be patriotic about your country mm-hmm. because yeah, most people would ask. The, your Miss was Miss Malawi. Oh, where is that? Mm. It's in Africa. Oh, uh, I've, I've heard people are really poor in Africa. And go like, oh, you have no idea where the rich is actually. Because, <laughs> yeah, it depends on, on how you base yeah, your argument. Yeah, yeah. Okay, if, if we talk economy-wise, then fine, gosh. you win, mm. fine. Mm. But we have a lot of other things we can brag about mm-hmm. and we are the richest. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, as a role model, I still think it's, it's still good to be patriotic because I met a lot of um, other Malawians. Oh. Yeah. And some of them would talk bad about this country just because they're there now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm true. like, um, I don't think it's right. As much as you're doing well here, mm. but it's not okay to talk bad about where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah, true. true so, true. yeah, I've learned that it's really, really important to be patriotic wherever you go. Munabida, Dubai. Madam Malawi, it's not one day. More one day, no one be in Dubai. 
Because they had to take that <laughs> snippet only just to get me in trouble. But anyway, yeah. Yeah. So like, mm. where, 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 was that, where was that coming from when you, you said that? I really was loved. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I really yeah. was loved. I mean, I'm loved here as well. Mm-hmm. I am by a great number of people as well. Komano, how they showed me there. Because as I was going, Kweya Bodi, Ya Kunogo, uh, people say things. I'm Malawi. Yeah. People say dumb things, negative things. Um, some they they whispered. Some I was able to hear. Mm. But anyway, that's that. Mm. I go there on my arrival. I was so loved. Habibi, welcome to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was so loved. People wanted to take pictures with me. Yeah, um, like the pilots invited me for. Um, a night out, but of course I couldn't do that. Mm. But um, no, it wasn't private. <laughs> <laughs> it was something that they do with the air hostesses. That's it. That's it. That's how private. That is. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! You said you have never received a private invitation. Like, was that a private one? Is it a Malawian pilot? No. Okay, a pilot that side. Where? All right, because if it was a man pilot, I, I can't name <laughs> the dro- uh, someone there. Like, you know, you know a boy. <laughs> Possibly <maybe. laughs> one of your boys. Yeah, well, you know people in the club. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. No, that, that was good. That was dope. Yeah. That was dope. Yeah. So, uh, your Dubai trip ten out of ten minus nothing. Kabina, there was something that you didn't like about it. Nine point five. Mm-hmm. Wow. What's what's up? The point five. Yes. <laughs> 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 The heat. I could barely keep my eyes open. Ooh. Yeah, when I'm walking in the streets. Eh, eh, eh. Just yeah, it's too hot. Mm. Yo, what's up? Um, uh, going back to the way you were loved at Dubai and mm-hmm. also comparing the way like beauty queens are treated in other countries and how we treat our beauty queens, our Miss Malawi. How would you compare it? Like, do we do it the right way? Or maybe there's some something else somewhere else where we're missing? There's um, 80% missing, but I do understand <laughs> as to where my country is coming from yeah. and where my country is. Mm. So, yeah, it's, it's just a matter of understanding. But yeah, it, it's, not, it's not how beauty queens are supposed to be treated. Is it the case of, you may not take her as in modeling, to my beauty queens, as Malayans, ah, my host. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Why is it, isn't it everybody in America? Mm. Yeah, you trust? Yeah, celebrity really is a bass. You can go to Uga Bassi. Why is it people don't want to see people going up? Uh, we're miserable. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if I'm being honest, we're yeah. miserable. Mm. So, it's that type of thing. So, why should you be happy when I'm not happy? Mm. Yeah. No, I need to bring this one down so we're on the same level. Mm. Yeah, because if you go, for instance, I want to go to Dubai to buy something. You can't spend your money in peace in my house. Because we are hungry and we are sick. And then defend that. That's, that's what it meant to do in the... In the hungry and <laughs> You're hungry, sick. sick. Oh, okay, yeah, so okay, okay. Because we are hungry, we are sick, we are twisted in the mind. Because so that, I've never heard about your manifesto. What did, mm. How did you promise Malawians? On that stage, you, s- you, s- you say whatever. <laughs> 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 you went freestyle. <laughs> If I'm being honest, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the But um, I'm still working on it. Our theme was early childhood development. I love children. I've been to several schools. Um, I've had chats with um, different students. Mm. I've seen good. My heart has always been on teen mothers. Even when I was going to Miss East Africa, mm. I've always wanted to work with teen moms. Mm. Because I mean, I would teach you to sit on Pawi. Yeah. I would teach you to sit on Pawi. They get pregnant, go out of school, as in Gokala, and I mean, I was like, 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 
come on. <laughs> when uh, when I think of I've done enough beauty contests and I want to retire. But it's true that um, as a patient, like you can't have a kid. Oh, Miss Universe! If I know you can, there is Mrs. Universe. Oh, um, great! Yeah, mm. and there is Mrs. Mrs. Culture. Oh, isn't that segregation? It is. The other patients that are trying to be inclusive. Of course, and also I trash trash. So, but yeah, that's that's Malawi. Uh, yeah. There's there's still others. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 this is the best time for me because the moment I start having my own children, I would like to give my time to my children. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, this is a high class woman. Mm-hmm. Women that believe that they need to focus on their children. On their kids. Hey, um, professional. Uh, yeah, hey, 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 I'm the table. I bring tables to the <laughs> What the fuck, bro? Come on. <laughs> Listen to yourself. Uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> This, I've heard so many things from successive women, mm. like specifically around wanting to focus. For specifically, if it is building a family, yeah. raising kids. Yeah. So let's go back to your issue around. Um, um, around the manifesto, right? Mm-hmm. Because most of the times, people have trashed mm-hmm. this whole crown thing because it's like, do you have money for your for your ambition? There is no money. You see, so sometimes ambitions are good. Everybody would dream. Mm-hmm. Of course. But you need resources to aid what you want to build. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Like, there has to be a change in how yeah. this thing is done. Mm-hmm. If you're winning on an agenda, because agendas should not just be what you are discussing so that it yeah. makes it interesting. Yeah, you know, child marriage and whatever. No, no, no. They should be investments. So, for mm-hmm. instance, if you are going on agenda on teen moms, right, mm-hmm. there has to be resources. Let's say maybe on a minimum, 20 mil, right, mm-hmm. for, your, uh, for your reign, mm-hmm. yeah. for you to use to advance your things. Because mm-hmm. without money, what are you going to do? Because you're going to flow with any brand. That um, if they are saying, if it were, we're talking about uh, elder women, women, you're going to go there, mm-hmm. right? Because it's something that aligns with your brand in some nature because it is... A charity case. A charity thing. So, can you pitch to investors, right? Mm-hmm. My guy, I mm-hmm. About, mm-hmm. about the clown, how mm-hmm. people should invest in it and how important that would be uh, mm-hmm. going forward if people are properly invested. Um, like I said, Miss Malawi is not fully supported. So, there are no fans there. Mm. They even had to pull up um, the show without any money. Mm. But anyway, it happened and here we are. So for some of these things to be achieved, we obviously need money. Mm. Komano, it's still an issue for people to come in and support and give fans. Yeah. It, it's still an issue. So that's something that we need to start on our own. But um, to investors, it would really be helpful if you can help like with this issue of teen moms if you can help with um helping us get them back into vocational training schools Mm. of course um i've been trying to have that discussion with teveta Mm -hmm. so we can have a way forward because okay teen moms can go back to school it's not everybody that still has the same interest to go back into class yeah, and uh, yeah, having yeah. mana. mana mm. So at least they can do into Zamanja. So I've been trying to have this conversation with Deveda. So as for investors in any way that you can be it funding for the school fees or um, funding for their training or whatever, in, in whatever way that you can help, mm. please do help. I Yes, Kombi. An idea from me, right? I'm passionate about development in some quarters, right? I think, I think, mm-hmm. with your influence, be it GoFundMe, mm-hmm. be it whatever that you can decide to raise money, mm-hmm. you can come up with a... Because if you're thinking about that, imagine if uh, the Miss Malala office has like a vocation center, right? Mm-hmm. Which is dependent from all of this and all you'll be looking for is capacity for mm-hmm. people, right? Mm-hmm. You know, we have a place, we have a center, just, just come and teach. Mm-hmm. Come and volunteer to teach. Right? That would be great. Yeah. yeah. 
So imagine if you run on an agenda that says we're going to structure a vocation training center for the north, um, for central and mm-hmm. southern region of Malawi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you partner with Podcast Malawi. No, we talk really, about that. Really. And we raise money for mm-hmm. that. Yeah. And then there's a target. And you guys make it. And you have vocational status. Why don't we do it then? Then we do it. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah. your man. That's your man over there. <laughs> 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 yeah, but that's a good idea. Because I think mm-hmm. um, one of the big issues in Malawi is around infrastructure. Mm, right? Yeah, true. If you're going to go to Tiveda, Tiveda is going to be, yes, let's do it, let's do it. But the problem is going to be their cycle. Mm, they're, they're, they're dealing with a lot of pressure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But what if we build? How much does it cost to create a vocation center mm. or some sort? Mm. And mm. then you, you there's a bit of investment. So whatever that you are pushing towards mm-hmm. should be investment in that, in that yeah. area. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. something that Politicus Malawi is willing to talk about I mean, and we, we, we love talking about whatever. nice things that's a great idea it is, it yeah, is. Love yeah. Yeah. so we know so, here just talking crazy uh, <laughs> I, mean, I mean we are <laughs> but <laughs> yeah we have substance in what we talk about that we, yeah. we believe in this thing yeah. this is this platform is for malawians this mm-hmm. platform is for malawi and we believe in building malawi yes. mm-hmm. so you being miss malawi on podcast malawi yeah i mean nice. we have the, the same last name <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Brandon John Podcast Malawi. Yes. So it just come on Miss Malawi. Something. I think yeah. you, you could look at it and talk to uh to our lovely uh coordinator, Google mm-hmm. that you're talking to. Just look at uh, at at the figures if something of that project would be interesting. Mm-hmm. We could partner and write things yeah. or stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That would be something like a legacy. Yeah, it could be a legacy yeah. for, for you as well, you know. You could look mm-hmm. look back and say what right, right now so mm-hmm. that the whole podcast is should not be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think kind of going to go the my collaborations and how many of my friends bangers in Tudoka. So I think what we were talking about is already coming together because I decided in the Bali I gave me now banga give me. I think my top banga is the banga is let's come together and build one thing together. Tima oba credit. Jerry Moba, why are you going to? Ah, Jerry Jalala Bangandi, Brandon, you know? Now, as well as Jalala Bangandi, Jessica, even if it was my day, this man the boy, I'm not going to take out, this man, wah, I'm not going to take out, this man, So I think we should not be, as Malawians, as the youth, actually, we are the ones to carry this uh, whole mess forward. For eh, uh, it's in shambles. You know? <laughs> it's in shambles. So, yeah, uh, you have a question? Um, I once came across your Facebook post talking about bullying and causing trauma to people. What? what? Um, do you maybe plan on starting something that's like a fight against cyberbullying and bullying in general? Um, actually, last Thursday, I I had an interview at uh, Malawi Police FM. And we also tackled something like that. Mm. So it's just a matter of bringing awareness that it is a crime because most people don't know it is a crime. Is it? It is a crime. Ah, Santa Mandinena. <laughs> <laughs> it is a crime. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how do you go about that? Let's say I'm bullied online. Mm-hmm. How do I file whatever, whatever for this person to be brought to book? How do you file whatever when somebody has stolen your phone? I go there and I have one. Exactly, it's a crime. You can do the same. Okay, maybe like, are there some strategies like maybe that are being put in place? Maybe like you as Miss Malawi, are mm-hmm. there some strategies? Maybe like you've experienced bullying before. Yeah. So like, are there some strategies that you're putting in place? Maybe like to fight against this, or maybe. Is I mean, this I'm a just that Guru Malawi by Japoli says cinema implement. Yeah. So it's it's just a matter of sensitizing people. Mm. Yeah, so that means we have to work with the police mm. in civic educating people. People, yeah. While you are at that, I think you are the right people to talk to because, I mean, you have influence and you have all these connections. Sorry, we are diverting from what, are, what we are talking about. These are the things that we could <laughs> see. <civic laughs> <edu- laughs> Civic, oh, civic, oh, civic, <laughs> educate people. Like in Ankara, civic education. First thing that comes to my mind is zebra, bro. And how many got 
Hey, and then the Okay, So yeah, um and as far as civic education is there, mm-hmm. are you confident could in Malawi police is going to help us? I go there I'm being bullied. Are they not just going to say ah, I'm fine I say. They've helped my cousin before, so I'm sure they can do the same. Sana mpange help friend in Malawi Miss Malawi. No, that was before. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was way, way before I was Miss Malawi. Yeah, so you know. How did they help him? We should have a picture. Oh, they trust the people that were um, talking negatively about her. Of course, Nelly, Nkanyo would have been a mamunina and Anala Ambiri. And she didn't have an issue with that. Komano, people took it personal. And Kwamba Gumulo would deal more with Mamutawa and stuff like that. So she thought, oh, this is way too much. So she reported them. And yeah, and now we're good. And then after what was the time? Okay, they called her good and tried to talk with her. And when she went there, she was like, hey, I, I know, I know you saw and you could let them go. And they were like, ah, it's a police case now. We can't let them go. <laughs> so, but it's our case. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, I th- were there some payments? Could you agree? I'm, I'm business. No. It was for free. Mm. Yeah, come of course. Because I know, but I don't want to be a bank of food. If I want to be a Kuzaguma, okay, go to a policy or Muna Kuzuma can take a list of Jagoji. You know, money need to be in B unless you pay me. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, come on for her. It was for free. That's 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 nice. Yeah, uh, okay, then what's the name again? Um, they're not very uncomfortable. They're nice, nice, nice questions. First, th- <laughs> first things first, you're Kumis Malawi. You know what? ever goes on there. Hey. Mm-hmm. First thing, what, what, but... no, okay, the, for the things that you know. Mm-hmm. What could you change today? Um, let's see what I would change. Kumis Malawi, Gabena, like in general. Kumis Malawi, like what I would change? Mm. Uh, form of communication. Communication mm. is very, very bad. Mm. Like things don't really get to me until the last minute. Yeah. Now that I would, I would really like to change. Mm. Like so bad. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So it's like okay, and who can be done about it? Mm-hmm. I won't get to know about it until Up like until. the ah, very ma. last minute. Mm. But that thing concerns me. I got net of flat then as we know about a group of winners. Let's go. Okay. I I also have a question. Mm-hmm. Uh just to add on whatever Brandon is, is asking you. Yeah. Um what are you doing at the moment for your fellow models to mm-hmm. change the industry in, in Malawi? Because we've already talked in the beginning yeah. how this industry, how we, we all view models. Mm-hmm. We think they are hoes, we think the slip around, if they're video evictions, they are A, B, C, D. Mm-hmm. So what kind of measures or um, initiatives or anything else around that are you doing at the moment to help your fellow models mm-hmm. so that the industry is shaped in the in the way that people should not view it as something which is bad or e, we cannot allow our kids to be models because they're going to be either a hoes, they're going to be, you know, all of mm-hmm. those things. So what are you doing at this particular moment to ensure that the industry is shaped in the right way? You know, being here, I've really tried, like putting myself up there. So people can always look up to me and say, not all models are hoes after all. I mean, look at her. She's... Okay, maybe I do look like a hoe. Maybe. But, I, <laughs> <laughs> nah. but I've, I've really tried, like, setting an example so people can look at me and say, maybe we were wrong about it. Mm. Because if I'm trying to help the modeling industry, by the end of the day, it's really, really hard because there were times we were saying, Kuji, my models, my gigs are less than 20K. I say no. But you still find Kuji in a gabi tabi. Zinduzo Kuji tinali tana. We need to have a standard. Mm. 20K is in drama. Mm. We need to have a standard. Yo Kuji, drama is here at least 30K. Kuma 20K below. I ena 10K yomweyo. Ama 10K. Wawo na kubita. And wame do challenge ya Kuji kala dipeza mamodo zena ochiba because they know Kuji and I got for me, I've been drumming, and I go and go file. So it's really, really hard for me, Goody. I should help everybody as I didn't say, I need a good color. Jimmy now goes, you are goody. They want to become or they want to achieve. Gomano, on my part, I think 
being a model, being a Miss Malawi, I've tried enough to put a message out there. Good, not all models are whores. But some of them are. Some of them are, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so second thing, mm-hmm. uh, second question for me mm-hmm. would be, Sidaf Sanazam, what you change it? Yeah. Is the title, you know, fruitious, Kabina, and the title, yeah, but I'm Ismaili, but I said that, but I was on career, and it means to say, Bo, Kabina, come and see, go, but you can't get a guy with a paper, a woman. I can't say in a second that Jimmy would am this guy. I nothing. Nah. So get the prize money and leave. And do whatever you want to do with the title. Bas. Yeah. Is that like for real for real? For real, for real. That's Malawi for you. Yeah, it's like that. Could it be pay sleep? Yeah, Miss Malawi. Could it be? Could it be? No. No. Okay. Apart from the payment, um, does the government give you like some uh, some other attention as Miss Malawi Kapenabas? I yeah. do get recognized. Uh I a judgment of a fubi now. my body they do know me, they do recognize me, I'm a diversa space. So yeah, they do recognize me. Hmm. So you've got you, you at some point you met the first lady at the State House? The top 12. Yeah. Yes. How was it? How was it in there? Did you take pictures? No. I'm a London of You can't take pictures anyway. Oka Loa. How many love quoted that word? So many doors. So many doors. But what was the experience like? How how did the, like, now, when I'm a president in the Gaza, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a little bit of 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 a little yeah, it was nice. Really, very nice. Yeah, they, they really respected us. We were guests after all. Mm. Mm-hmm. Were you uh, told to bring a plus one? No. Mr. Oh. Amal in Balisti and Tamina Gubidabo. So, would you baggage a color with you? It was kind of. Yeah, eh, like that, I know. One of them was like, What are you asking? I'm going to say, 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 I'm going my anus was all Was that house? Ah, yeah, no, that's it. No, good. Don't is every. Yeah, so uh, I think yeah, I have one last question that's been boggling my mind. Let me check. Um, oh yeah, yeah. There's this thing that you cannot garner right now. You are passport light into a celebrity, and to, you have certain attention now. Mm-hmm. What's the craziest experience as a celebrity? Is this the life going to be like? What's the what's the most crazy experience that you've had as a celebrity? I could they treated me badly. No, no, any cab we know come on. It just, uh, you know, it blew your mind. Oh, well, the fact that I have to take pictures with everybody and smile even when I'm not in the mood. Smile. Smile. <laughs> yeah, that, that has been the craziest because, hey, Basi, some, sometimes, Basi, you're in your mood. Mm. Uh, you just don't want. Mm, you just, mm, just want to be yourself. Like, oh, it's like, can I have a picture? And you're like, yeah, sure. You can't even say no. Why am I not Wadoba? But. After the event, people still want pictures, and it's one person after another. So hey, that's really crazy. Madiem mago mama socials. Muni baby madolo tuti madzi wanta oni mo. Ali mago mama yang karun dan thamena mabanga manage page yangan. Na masega no. About pictures that you take with people. Yeah. Um, like you can't say no. No, I can't say no. I'm okay. I'm not supposed to say I can say no. Komano, I'm not supposed to say no. Okay. Mm. Like, um, what are the limitations? I'm, I'm taking a picture with you. I can hold you like that. How, how does mm-hmm. it go? No, you you can't unless I allow it. Okay. So, like, like because usually my events, it's like, hey. Yeah. yeah. How does it feel? How does the auditor look at that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How does that feel my edit? <laughs> This is not right. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. My events cinema bidandeka. Okay. I 
No, I always have somebody escorting me, and that's Miss Clara, okay. one of mm. the organizers as well. Mm. Yeah, and then ni mabita ndi Miss Clara, even could buy her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm always with her. Kuna kuli konse. Ndebe naga una zogudi zaluaji ba na matu na zogudi. I'm seeing my pictures as, bus. Asibita. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do you have security? Private security? Hey, no. <laughs> oh, we can no. organize. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, no, no. <laughs> Benny. He's a very good go- ghost. Yeah, this one. Who can yeah. deal with people? Yeah, no. Like he's a troller. He can he can troll people back. Say about bully Ujandi. Ngozo yeah, the ethical bully. Yeah, the ethical bully. Wow. Okay, cool. yeah. So, okay, you have to smile. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> people have never spoken about your the alignment of your teeth. They have okay. countless times, but um, I think I even mentioned it. But I wouldn't buy if I got a job. It's a choice because it's not like my parents can't afford it. <laughs> they can. They've taken me there before. Komano, I I I told them, "Kudi, you know, I I don't think I want this." Mm. So yeah. well, if you know, funny enough, that's remember when I said I called a cute chick. Mm. It's because of our teeth. Yeah, <laughs> there are people like you who who like that kind of alignment. Yeah, there are people like that. Stop. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Yeah. It's only the auditor. It's only the auditor. <laughs> it's only the auditor. Else, no, 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 no. no. Yeah, yeah but I think that, right? Tim mm-hmm. Alton, I have. Moyo, moyo, moyo. Uh, moyo is not a perfect life, you know. Mm. Those imperfections. Uh, the ones that make make us beautiful yeah. at the end of the day. What's your oh. perfection? Me? Uh, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. Where she knows? I think the only thing that I's, uh, I've been insecure about my whole life. Ed, I know never bore one of you guys. Don't you want to be I didn't go there. Like, <laughs> my beard took longer. Even when I have patches. Uh-huh. Took longer to connect. That's, mm-hmm. a, that's a, the first one. Second thing being my nose. I just find it too big for a, for a guy. <laughs> so you haven't seen our you, so What are you talking about? <laughs> Come on. No, no, no. It's not, it's not a competition, my brother. It's not a competition. <laughs> talking about myself. <laughs> Those are the things. Ndere Indian. Um, uh, Nima Bank, Nima Uncle Labour Limit to some extent. Mm. So, just for you know, sir, as a madness, is it not sort of a little bit? No, 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 let's go back to her. Okay, fine. Your teeth didn't have an issue, didn't have any feeling that it will have an impact on the on the on the Miss in Malawi. the future, Miss Malawi thing, no? Miss Malawi thing. Yeah. Mm. I guess people are talking about it, yeah, yeah. They always do. Mm. Uh, I mean, it's a beauty contest. If somebody else finds finds it beautiful, I mean, it's it's an element of beauty. Mm. Yeah. Right. So I really didn't think of it that way. Mm. Mm. Moving, you're moving, you're smiling. <laughs> you're okay. <laughs> like something did, didn't pitch you inside of you, like ah, about chindolangi sado. Chance I no, come on, no, yeah, those smiles were so fake. I mean, people could tell. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, we were so nervous, yeah. Mm. so yeah, they were so fake, hey, so fake. Your dad was there doing the final, yeah, he was. Okay. I never told him I'm contesting, though, he found out either way. Oh, see, social media, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, but I told my mom, I told him, don't tell dad, I'm like, ah, don't worry about it, just keep going. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, moms, eh? Our moms are nice, moms are their daughters, <laughs> moms are nice. Okay, mm-hmm. you like, you realize you have dimples, right? One, come on, nigga, that's one video. Come on, when you're laughing, smiling, you talk about it. Ah, come on, nigga, do it. Do you remember when I said today I saw a picture? I said that's a cute chick. Yeah. One of the things. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> 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 How long did you spend on this picture? <laughs> it's a video. It's a video. <laughs> I'll show it to you. I like showing it to people. When I say bye. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> before you sleep, you watch it. Ah, no, no, no. That's some of the things I watch before I sleep. <laughs> no, this is amazing. Yeah, no, man. like, like. These questions I'm asking, 
is, are the questions that I've seen most ladies trying to struggle with. Mm, yeah. um, of the little, little, little things that they have, that they feel like they're imperfections that define their life. Mm. But I think you saying about these things confirms to other people that even if I can have one dimple, the other one is not coming through. Even if I have a, like arrangement of teeth that is not properly like linear the way people would expect, mm-hmm. I'm perfect. Mm. Yeah, beautifully and wonderfully made. Mundo tem um ramo. Mundo de mano ao dia no evangelho. A vida do ministro é o blevo. O blevo, você sabe? Há pouco eu não tinha mais. O blevo. A primeira vez que eu mandei. Como é que ela foi? Anyway, um, so like uh, in the future, do you have any plans, guy? Do you have an organization, guy, a person or people that you'd want to work with that you uh, maybe you love what they do? Is there anybody that you'd want to work with in particular? Yeah, organizations that um, do charity work. In particular, do more, Zina. UNICEF. Uh-huh. Yeah, there is UNICEF, there is World Vision, there is Merry Meals. Those are the ones. People, no. Individuals, nah, but anyway. Individuals, I I don't think I have anyone in mind. Yeah, because individuals would want to, to consume you, <laughs> to consume it with you, <laughs> just for you guys Drew to work. with you? I'm <laughs> sh- like, seriously. Not everybody. Oh, oh. <laughs> you have trust in you already, eh? Not everybody. Hey, 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 I don't know you, but... Oh, the consumption. No. I don't know. Yeah, but, but like, talking to her today, like of a different impression of her. Of her, yeah. Actually, yeah. that's what I wanted to, you know. I wanted people to see. Yeah, and I think uh, what we see, right, is not what is actually there. Mm, true. Yeah. True. Mm. She, she's, she's, uh, yeah. I think, I think because of the evangelist on the other side. I think he gives a lot of prayers for her. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that also was from Mutuma Kawai Kase. Now, I'm going to have my evangelist still the same. And I'm going to have my money now. DJ, I'm going to have my money now. I'm I did her mum was a pastor. Hey, yeah, yeah. I see. I see. I didn't know how I got that booster for my donors. You know, you know, you know, well, at the end of the day, you are your own person, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, at the end of the day, we have to accept that every person is capable of making their own decisions. It's their life after all. All this I need bring ya again, I need ya again. It's a separate person. You can only do uh, so much, you know. Of course, maybe no one would probably since now that is what is not from the family. We see that we're from the friends, you know. Society, Jamaat Bangladesh shape. And a good father. Mm, very good father. No, I believe in fatherhood. Yeah. Masculine father. I think of Ben, eh? at least Ben is represented for that point. Yeah. Mm. I read it. So, yeah, I think, you know, that's that for me. Bridget, I see your hand up. Um, talking about working with organizations, right now, as you are Miss, Mal- Miss Malawi, have you ever been approached by maybe some organizations or brands? Could you mean I should work with them okay, as a brand ambassador or any sort of working? Mm-mm, no, I haven't. Why not? Why not? Put down to one guy, guys. Because you're a public person. Mess up on a guy and tongue that I mean, nobody should help. Yeah, but I haven't. Not even a single one could mean a natural one could decline. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's an industry, man. It's an industry. But do you know what happens to me? Oh, Brandon! That person is more. I don't drink. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. No, no, like, yo, man, come, come. I said, Zoyan, we can't get a big body, Jai. Who do I talk to? I talk to the coordinator. She was also acting as my manager. Yeah, like, oh, like, oh, like, like such offers, or you're asking about organizations approaching me? Yeah, organizations. Yeah, we're uh, approaching yeah. you. I'm a brand, big brand, the organizations approaching you. Nothing me. big, just. Uh, okay, like. <laughs> <laughs> but not big brands. These are big brands, organizations. I would have been there right now. 
Mimi ndio ndio. Sasa bwana sasa ndio wanga first. Yeah. We have approached you. Tufuna ukali face ya post podcast malaria. Ah yeah yeah. Not for now. Yeah. For now later I'll represent the Malawi. She, she's she's it's podcast. She, it's podcast Malawi. Yeah, she's you know, she's going to be Miss Podcast Malawi. Yeah. Oh, no. Hey. Yeah. Hey. I don't agree with that. Oh, I know, I know the budget that will come with that. You see? Ugoba budget. Yeah, yeah. Big collaboration. Big collaboration. Just for the Malawi. Yeah. Now, of course she's going to do uh, let her do uh, uh, an intro for us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, this is this is just uh, yeah. <laughs> this, this is her thing. Like she's promoting us, but but I was serious about that conversation of uh, trying to do try to job. collaborate and yeah. do something. Yeah. So was I. Yeah. So no, no, no. I think you take it you take it further with her. We could look at something that we could try to do. Mm. Okay. Uh, we're poor people, but we have good ideas and good stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and uh, and and Ambuya saw my brother. Ambuya saw my brother in the process. You know, the dramas are busy, guys. You know what I mean? So yeah. So Ababa, come on, this. Hey, tomorrow we're going to have a brand. Eh? Yeah. Have a brand. Do you know? And how many of them are going to approach you? I'm going to call it the big market. Market has more than more or more. We're going to have a brand. I guess what's in who? Who are the only trying to buy me alcohol? Can I go back? I love what you do. I said, you know what I said. What the hell, bro? I mean, if you want, if you want me to grow, if you want me to continue doing what I'm doing, at least come motivation from you. Let's work together. Mm-hmm. Give me a contract. You know, it's one of those things. In the eh, send us zero. That's it. Send us what the. But it's doing. We're doing rounds in. Your question before it's closed. Yeah. Uh, no question. Say, there's no question from the gate. I say, like. How does the ghetto look at Miss Malawi? Miss Malawi. Hey, let him and dig up ghetto like. You ain't do it. You represent us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have respect for the producer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you represent the ghetto by then? All right. Yeah, from the ghetto side, yeah, by the way. No. How? Come on, get to get. She's speaking in English. What do we remember from the ghetto? The the ghetto is okay, we are. Do you have a car? No, I don't. I don't have a car. car. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The office of Miss Malawi doesn't have a car. Mm-mm. The, the office should have, but I think her she, she's not allocated a car. Yeah, that's what I meant. You're not allocated a, a car as Miss Malawi. The office doesn't have a car. Mm. Okay, the office. Oh yeah, you represent the office, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So, ukabaina like on personal things then then just like any other regular person. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes I do no drive. Way. Yeah. Sometimes I do oh, drive. Yeah. Zakwa <laughs> to but yeah, I I do use I do use public transport. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, that's, that's not right, is it? Alone cabinet have somebody escorting you. If if podcast Malawi has a car. Has it? Has it? And you planned it well. No, 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 but it happens. Mm. I think there's a lot of growth, but I think the areas that people are interested in investing would be more of uh if it benefits Malawi as a whole mm. yeah. rather than it benefits mm. a few people. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, come on. I say, I say, can we do for a person like her? It used to be there as a prize yeah. previously. Yes. Come on, because they didn't have anybody sponsoring them this year. They, they no one, no had put, or had put in, had, had put in, a, ah. <laughs> no one had put a car on the list this, uh, this year. Was it last year? Mm. The last year. December, yes. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I was a broke, huh? Okay, in your office, do you happen to work with Antombi Moko, like Ashinam, Roberta, and that other one, Daiwala, her name? Do you happen to work with them? We do work together. All right. I'll finish that on my own, Roberta. No, I'll let her work. know. I, I, yes. I was She's thinking, could we not yes, but someone go back and say, could we not no longer work together? You're no, we're a team. Mm. Yeah, that's beautiful. Uh, are they not sorry about it? Uh, <laughs> uh, no. Quick, uh-uh. questions, quick questions for you. Yeah. <clears throat> do you drink? No. Do you smoke? No. Hey, first of all, what do you do? <laughs> I drink juice, though. That's what I do. No, you do. Come on, don't say juice is my out. Please. <laughs> so what do you do? <laughs> What's happening? No, 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 no. Leon, <laughs> relax yourself. Miss Malawi is not going to the gate. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Malawi so go get on the bus and that's so get on the bus. Ah yeah. Hey guys like what 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 are you doing? Nah, cool. <laughs> 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 All right. But I think yeah, I think next time you just want to chill. 
I have an agenda you want to chill. This is a place. Yeah. That's what I just wanted to say. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Brandon, there's Benson there, there's Bridget here, mm. and the rest of the other guys. Yeah. This is a place where you want to come and chill. Just talk about it. You know, yes. I mean, my mental health is very good. My mental health is very good. I'm going to go in there and chill. This uh-huh. is it. This is the spot. Or you can even say, you know what, guys, let's record somewhere else. Guys. Outdoors, we do that. Aye, yeah. no private places. I yeah, know. outdoors. <laughs> outdoors. <laughs> outdoors. Said he, we don't outdoors. <laughs> what, what, what's wrong with you, dog? No, 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 no. What's wrong we with you? We don't ensure the security. We don't ensure everyone is there. And they're the outdoors, yo. Outdoors. Outdoors. <laughs> I don't, do I don't trust you, my guy. Yeah, you said that, don't say. What do you think I can do? Okay, well, with what's the color way? Don't say. Yeah, because, because Cousin Vinny has been saying yeah. he wants us to record at his place. Yeah. So he's ready to, to host us. Yeah. So another another podcast we could do there. So yeah, yeah we could invite her if, they, uh, if their agenda aligns. Mm, aligns, yeah. Yeah. Well, you can right. come with uh, Mandem as well. Or the, 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 the auditor. Free. Yeah. Well, we need to vet him first. <laughs> We will come as security or we will come as <laughs> the, the, the sponsor. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, but yeah, we, we, we need to have, like, yeah. we believe in family here. Mm. We believe in... And we believe in family. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at us. <laughs> you will see people drinking here, but people believe in, in being organized, right? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Of course, people disappear here sometimes over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> They get lost today. But we, be, we believe in the fundamentals. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, that's so, that. Mm. Uh, we are very, very good people. Uh, very good so people. Now, every time, anytime you want to just come and chill, you have an agenda, you have money somewhere, mm. you want to spend, people here can spend their money. We, we love spending too. For an agenda. If you yeah. want to speak, oh, you live. Live, you tell us. You tell us. <laughs> <laughs> you tell us. You tell us. You tell us. Yeah, man. So, what, what he's driving at is, this shouldn't be just a one-off thing like this. There are many issues. Or not you coming in person. Eh? You could just say, I'm a guy. You know? So, we could always endorse your preachings right here. Okay. I hear that say. Do you have anything else to say before we close? Before you just before you do whatever you say. I love Malawi. Wow. Uh, wow. Brandon yes, <laughs> Jones podcast Malawi. We love you too. <laughs> we love you too, Jessica. <laughs> Can you clarify that we love you there? There's I somewhere. Mm. No, he, th- that's going to. You are Brandon. Oh, when I said we love you too, just clarify. I love you too, just. <laughs> we love you too. <laughs> who are you and who? That's yeah. for me and my house. What are you doing, guys? Machine. Uh, so uh, the producer is asking for a favor. He wants you to uh, do the what? The closing. Oh, the closing. The yeah. outro. Yeah. Yeah. One, yeah, 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 subscribe, follow. like, follow. Do that thing, that thing you do. <laughs> that thing you do best. Let's go. Malins and guys. Oh, before before she does Brandon that, Jones. before she yeah, before she does that, a big shout out to Rebecca Kazingachire for making this happen because I had to reach out to her. Mm-hmm. She's a very good friend of mine. We go a long way, mm-hmm. go a long way. So she had to put me in touch with uh, Jessica. That's how this whole thing came about. Okay. <laughs> we hope so too. <laughs> yeah. It's been Podcast Malawi with me, Jess Komponda, Miss Malawi 2022. A big shout out to Rebecca Kazinga Chile for making it happen. I love you so much. We've been friends for quite a while now. Thank you for making this happen. And again, please follow, subscribe, or leave a comment if you have any questions about the conversation we just had. Love you. Yeah! We love Malawi. (laughs) We love Malawi. (laughs) Yeah, man, it's been Podcast Malawi. Until next time, we out. Bye.